This is ChristianMusicianPodcast.com, your audio resource. Welcome to the first episode of the Christian Musician Podcast. We are here for you, the Christian musician. Listen, grow, act. We want you to listen to the podcast, to grow and understand more about your craft, and to take action. And now, in every show, there will be a featured song by great musicians, so make sure to listen at the end to the song that is playing in the background right now, Onward Christian Soldiers by Scarlet Script at the end of the show. Um, this is a group from my church, Barabbas Road Church, that I got to be a part of and contributed by singing on the EP Onward. So take a listen. First for this episode, I would like to introduce myself and what this podcast is all about. Uh, I'm Scott Vanderwerf, your host from San Diego here. Um, I have a beautiful family and go to a great church where I was the music director for several years. And I'm now one of the volunteers in that music ministry. I love to sing and play guitar mostly, and I'm a songwriter as well, so you can check out some of my stuff here and there a little bit. I'm not special in the sense that I'm famous or a professional musician. I'm just in process as a Christian and a musician. I don't really want to talk about myself that much more, so if you would like to read more about me, just go to the About page at christianmusicianpodcast.com and check that out a little bit more and more about the show. So I'm very excited and working hard to bring you solid, actionable information and resources that will help you as a Christian in the world of music, both in and out of the church. There are many needs for musicians uh, out in the world, playing whatever you're playing, coffee shops, bars, any kind of venue. And then there's specific needs for musicians that are playing in the church as well. And so I'm just going to try to kind of delve into those topics both because they're both uh, important because you're a Christian first really Um, I would just like to thank some friends of mine Um, well first my brother he helped me set up the website a little bit loaned me some stuff to do some recording different things like that my brother Mark uh, awesome thank you so much and my friend James great friend of mine um, James Kearns he's an amazing guy and he donated some awesome equipment for me a very nice microphone and a mixer that I can use to go into the computer and all that. So that way I can give you guys a decent recording, hopefully, you guys can listen to pleasantly. So thank you so much for those uh, things to start off with. I just really feel blessed by God to have been given the tools necessary to bring this to you. So um, just super excited to, to start this. Really, first, I just want to share, show details with you, kind of give this layout for this show. Uh, for future reference so you know exactly what you're getting into what you what you're listening to so really this podcast speaks on topics that directly impact the musician that loves the lord my prayer and expectation is that we have some very cool insights into specific subjects like theology songwriting specifics on instruments and vocals running sound music technology apps and stuff like that and so much more we're going to cover lots and lots of stuff it's really limitless uh to whatever musicians can think of. So that's we're just really going to try to delve into these specific topics each time, not these general broad um, statements. Um, so really, I just want to continue to learn myself and take you guys along with me. So if you feel like you can learn a little bit, then hopefully this podcast is for you. Um, really, the Bible calls us to maturity, and uh, I've been convicted the past few years to just really try to learn more and grow more personally. So I've been trying to take some classes, piano classes, this and that, learn more about theology, uh, music, theory, all these things, um, and just trying to grow and not stay stagnant in any way. Um, so like Hebrews 5, 12 through 14, I want to share with you guys, uh, speaks to this. It says, in fact, though, by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. And it's definitely talking about spiritual growth and maturity, but we're not supposed to be stagnant in any aspect of our lives. And and so that's what this podcast is really all about, just trying to help us grow and then take action and be able to teach others. Um... So in each episode, I am just going to dig into exciting topics 
often co-hosted with a respected friend of mine. Uh, these co-hosts, these friends of mine are really awesome people that are excellent. They're experts in their field. I'm just going to dig into specific fields. Um, skilled and knowledgeable. They're available people. They're not people that are too far out there are too famous or too busy to help you or contact with you um so that's my goal there is that i i'm giving you and connecting you with people that can and will help you it's not just some some famous artist or some overbooked producer that has like you know, all you can do is listen to their the little bit on the show and then and then that's it so if you want to contact these people that i'm interviewing um you definitely can and I'll be giving all of that information on each of the show notes in the podcast blog. Um, so sign up for the blog at christianmusicianpodcast.com. And you'll get all that information in your, in your email and sent right to you. Or you can just go to the blog and make sure to get all of that stuff. Now this podcast and any audio really I think is just awesome on the technology that we have these days on our phones, on the computer. It's just a great way to redeem all of our wasted time like driving the car um, all that stuff. So I love audiobooks. I love podcasts. And I just have been so blessed by people's ministries and, and preaching and so many other podcasts. Um, I learned, started to learn anyway about podcasting through other people's podcasts and different stuff like that. So it's a great way to redeem our wasted time just sitting and listening to tons of music. And listening to music is great, but how about we learn and grow a little bit in those times too? And, and so that's what this is all about pretty excited to be doing it um, one very important topic is our identity as musicians I keep getting asked this is probably the most commonly asked question in many different forms about hey I'm a Christian and should I be playing music here or with this group or people often identify just I'm a musician, I'm a musician, I'm a musician. Well, if you're a Christian, like that's what we should be harping on is the, that I'm a Christian excited about God, right? And then music is just one aspect. And I don't want to dig into that too deep because the next episode um, with my pastor, uh, Matt Smith, I'll, I'll be really going through that a lot. And that, that's a good, awesome, long conversation to be had. So make sure to tune in to that next episode. Uh, but I wanted to bring up John Foreman from Switchfoot. Uh, he had a recent statement kind of talking about this. He was asked if he if his band was a Christian band. And he had a really interesting comment and statement on that. Um, go check that out. Just Google that. Maybe I'll, I'll share a link to that uh, blog that I read in the show notes here if you want to read that. Um, very interesting statement. Um, and it just shows the need and the lack of understanding, I think, in the Christian world about identity and our identity being in Christ first. And I think that's what his goal was really trying, he's really trying to just hone in on as he's a Christian first and he can do all these other things, which is really cool. But I don't know if he, I think he's still digging through this subject and topic. It seemed like he was really kind of torn up and serious about it, which is really good. Um, that, that seems like God's working on him in, in this area. Um, but so we'll dig into that a little bit more next week, I think, in that specific topic. Um, so if you're interested or plagued by that question, uh, just definitely tune in. We want to really just think about our gifting as musicians or anything else that we do and any kind of uh, skill or art that we have is that it's really... A, God's gift that he can do it's his music it's his skill and he's allowed us to image him we're we're made in his image right and so he's allowed us to image him by being able to create from the things that he's given us to create anyway so in music it's just using the, his skills already and so we're just using it and so it's kind of like the parable of the talents is often used in, in music and and anything like that but if you don't know about that, definitely read that parable, look it up. You know, you've got people with different levels of ability and they're given different levels of of skill, of understanding and um, responsibility, different levels of responsibility, really. And so that's us. So if you have some skill, if you have a lot of skill, 
God is going to give you a certain amount of responsibility to correlate with that. And, and that's where it's really exciting because we don't have to worry about producing more than what God has made us able to do. We just got to worry about holding on to the vine. We got to worry about just um, staying close to him and expecting his return and being excited about that. And then just do our best and, and, and let God take care of the rest of it. And so we're really just you know, tending his garden with our skills and using those skills. And so we want to do a great job, but it's his responsibility to grow the fruit and the food. And uh, so think about it that way. I think it's very help. It's helped me a lot, and God's been teaching me that uh, quite a bit lately. Well, for me, this section is recorded about two weeks later uh, than the rest of what you just heard. Um, but for you, it's just a couple of seconds. The beauty of recording. And I wanted to say a few more things just to clarify a little bit about this ministry and what I'm doing here with the podcast. Uh, I just totally want to be clear with you guys, my listeners, and just totally open with you all, as I really want to uh, this show and site to be a huge help. This is currently an unpaid ministry uh, slash hobby of mine, and I have never done any of this before, uh, making a website and podcast, um, but I totally love it. And the potential for God to use me in this way is huge, and I'm real, I think God's going to do more than I'm even thinking or praying about, really. Um, but please, please pray for... God to use it and to bless it and bless uh, uh, the fruit that's born from it, I guess. Um, really, it is a, I'm doing this all as a discipleship, like help to help people grow and, and um, an assistant to discipleship, basically, online. <laughs> so um, one of the things that got me doing this and, and the reason why I'm doing this is because so many people are trying to sell courses and books and just sell stuff to churches and their musicians and anybody in churches, really. It's like another marketplace. And it really bothers me, and that's not how it should be. You don't, or at least shouldn't, see pastors selling their sermons or sell your discipleship as a paid service should do. So we are to serve others and trust God to provide for us and not try to provide for ourselves by selling everything. Um, so my goal is to provide really helpful spiritual and musical content that is always going to be totally free to you, the listener. I will, all, I will only talk about and blog about things that are pertinent to Christian musicians. Uh, however, I do pray that God will provide income through other means, whether it be affiliations with cool people, helpful companies, uh, through my personal music, or even contributions from supporters that are led to help in that way. Uh, but the information on the site and the podcast will always be free. There's that free discipleship there um, that should always be free as Christians here. We're just to help each other, and God will take care of me, and I'm totally trusting in that and praying praying for God to continue to provide as He always has. Um, he's done some amazing things, answered amazing prayers in my life, and um, there's no reason for me or any of us to expect that God will stop providing as long as we stay clinging to the vine to Christ. Now, every episode will feature independent music from an artist that I select, so definitely email me uh, your high-quality MP3s if you're involved in music and you've got some decent recordings out there. Re um, send them to me at christianmusicianpodcast at gmail.com, just christianmusicianpodcast at gmail.com. And uh, let me know about your band, let me know about your, uh, your music, whatever, whatever it may be. I'll check it out. And uh, send me the MP3, that way I can include that if I like it. Um, any other questions, comments, feel free to email me there. Since this is the first episode, I thought I would share some of the music that I was involved in. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the band Scarlet Script, um, we recorded a small EP. We'd love to give that EP to you guys just as a gift for listening. Just go to www.scarletscript.com. That's with T's at the end, scarletscript.com. And you can go there, and um, you can select, I believe, um, Pray for the Band, and then you can download it for free there, or you can just go to iTunes and pay for it if you like. Um, but just go there and get it for free, and uh, share it if it's a blessing to you. The The song, the title track is Onward Christian Soldiers. It's a remake, a uh, new melody for that song. It kept those same old, really cool lyrics. and and um, So I hope you guys enjoy it, Onward Christian Soldiers by Scarlet Script.